my friends. I'm so glad you joined me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reattach a project back onto your machine. I have a color change going here. You'll notice it in one of my other videos um, that I have posted for a blanket um, that's made with this, but I do not like this whole green panel. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this, I, I cast off my machine so that I could get it off the machine. I'm going to put it back into the center just like that, into the center where I'm going to go down to where my color change is, okay? So I am gonna just adjust this a little bit. Can you see that I'm doing this? So I'm gonna go to where, um, where the color change is. I'm gonna undo that knot. If you do not have a loom hook, my friends, go out and get one. It's a cheap little thing that you can get at Michael's or probably other places too. It is just my favorite tool. That and bobby pins. I use bobby pins for stitch markers and, and between the two, it's awesome. So, okay, so what um, I want to, to uh, put my white back on because it's the green that I'm going to be ripping out. So I wanna put the white back on. So I'm going to take my, my um, tail from my green and see which stitch that's coming out of. So you can see it's coming out of this stitch right here, right? So that's my first stitch. So I'm going to bring my needles back around till I get my first black needle in the number one position. I'm going to pick up that white stitch and I'm gonna put it on that needle and under the first latch that's there. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna pick up the next one, put it on the next needle under the latch then I'm gonna do likewise all the way around. Don't push it all the way down, just put it under the latch. It's actually very easy to do. Okay, so let's get that going. Yeah, sometimes yarn can give you such trouble. And you know, there's no really rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes it's the dryness in your house. Sometimes I find that the lighter colors of yarn that you work with are the harder ones to use on your machine. And I think it might just be because of the dye process that it goes through. Um, it just changes the texture of the yarn. And uh, sometimes, you know, rather than, than fix one stitch and go all the way down the row and fix it while you're on your machine, um, then it's easier to just take it off and reattach it. Okay. So let's just see, see if we can continue going around here. Underneath the top latch, make sure you get the very first white bar, not the second bar, because if I was to grab this one by accident, then I'm going into the next row. So you gotta grab the one that's on the very bottom or top, whichever way you, you refer to refer to it as. Okay, so I'm coming around, I'm almost done. Okay, going to get all these 22 needles reattached. My last white one there, I'm gonna grab my last, gotta make it a little bit further. Nope, missed one. See, go back, put this one on here. You'll know if you miss one. And then I'm gonna grab this one right here, put it on just like that, okay? So now my machine is in its working position. I'm going to grab my yarn that I need. So um, the color that I need to redo is green. So I'm going to put that in there, just like I normally would. Grab all three of those. I'm going to knit three. Then I'm going to pull like I normally do. And then I'm gonna keep knitting around. And pull that a little tighter. So that was six rows and it messed up my counter here. So I have to, uh, I'm gonna just mark that down so I don't forget. I need to do, um, so that I um, can count out the right number of rows. Now it looks all wonky in here. It looks like it's it's uh, really loose, but once you get your project off, then you can very easily remove that, that green piece that's still on there. Um, you can very easily remove it and then your project will, will pull up nice and snug and it'll be great. Okay, so no worries there. Um, if you look here, you'll notice that just now when I tugged on that, this, this yarn went underneath the green um, key and not over these two two needles so you just want to make sure on the first row oh now it's going to go over when I when my needle comes up you want to make sure that that uh, the first couple rows that you do that you go a little bit slower so you're making sure that that this yarn is in place before the yarn grabs uh, the working yarn and feeds it down under these 
this little loop here has to be over the two red teeth. Okay, so that's how you reattach your project to your machine. Now it looks really loose here, like I said before, but trust me, when you get it off, it'll be perfect. Okay, so I um, reattached my project and I added my green yarn and you will see that this is the extra piece that I wanna take off. So this is on the right side, of course. So all I'm gonna do is find the end there. Where did it go? I'm gonna find the end and I'm going to just unwind it, just like that. And then the piece that I no longer want will be coming off. Okay, so keep going until, I'll keep going until I'm at the end and then I'll pop back on. Okay, so I'm pulling out my last row. Here it comes. Give that a little stretch. I'm gonna turn it inside out and pull some of those strings inside. Um, give it a little stretch. And it all falls into play. These are a little bit loose, but that's because I haven't tied the inside tight enough. So I'm gonna go back in and just uh, to the inside and then pull on those strings a little bit and tighten my, my uh, join a little bit more. And they'll all tighten up to the, to the right um, tension. So there you go.